students and hi guys here is Usama Tahir and you're watching learn English with Usama Tahir students we have been discussing so much about African American vernacular English and why it is uh, you know discriminated all around the globe by the upper class so today we are going to talk about some of the allegations that are put forward to the African American English and its grammatical structure and rules so the very first point here is illogical grammar illogical uh, structures the uh, you know upper class group members they say that in african american vernacular english there is double negation what is double negation double negation means he don't know nothing i haven't got no money or i ain't afraid of no ghost i mean using the double uh, you know words twice two times so according to upper class and the other dialects uh, speakers they say that it is illogical that one uh, negative word is cancelling another so it is illogical to use double negatives according to other uh, speakers so this allegation is totally worthless according to that that in old english there was uh, you know double negatives as you can see in this and similarly in french there is double negatives so there is nothing bad in at um, there is nothing you know fault in double negatives rather double negatives are used to sh give more emphasis to the negative part of the sentence okay so this is the first allegation and the first grammatical rule of african american vernacular english so next one we have uh, you know what in african american vernacular english they don't use B forms. What is B forms use of is am in the sentences. For example, they will not say she is working, but they will say she working. They will not say she is talking. They will say she talking. They don't say she is taking bath, but they say she taking bath. So it shows that the structure is in the progressive like ing form, but is or am is not thoroughly used. So it is also considered to be sloppy and unsystematic by the other uh, speakers, uh, English speakers and upper class members. They say it is sloppy and unsystematic not to use the B form. But students in Arabic, we have such constructions, we have such structures. In Russia, in Russian language, we have such examples. So how could it be unsystematic? There is a complete system in their structure. For example, if they want to say something which is uh, the routine of someone which is they are habitual to do they will use B they will add B into the sentence for example instead of saying she used to work in downtime they will say she be working downtown I mean she used to work downtown so if they want to and even if they want to say something what was the routine of someone if they want to convert it in the past form they will use she been working downtown I mean she used to work downtown so there is a complete system and hierarchy in their grammatical structures and they just show pride in what they speak and there is you know uh, what we call covert prestiges there exist in their structures so you can't just say that their grammar and their language is bad sloppy or illogical because in other languages i have given you the examples that such structures and such constructions are existed and also exist right now so this was all in this video lecture this was a uh, you know sweet and small tiny video lecture just to explain that these allegations are not you know good to raise i mean there is no logic for that so this was all today and keep watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you allah hafiz